Hi kids! Today we will learn what is ecosystem. So let's start. Relationship and dependence between living things and non-living things in our environment forms a system, which is called ecosystem. Like in a pond, there are many living things like frogs, insects, fish, snails, and butterflies. All these are living things in a pond and are linked to the non-living things like stone, water, air, soil, sunlight, clouds, rain, and all living and non-living things are linked to each other and their environment through one or the other way. An ecosystem can be very small like a small pond or even smaller, and ecosystem can be as big as an ocean. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Energy flows in an ecosystem by means of food cycle. Now let's learn some terms of ecosystem to understand ecosystems better. Abiotic components Water, air, soil, stones, hills, all non-living things are abiotic components of ecosystem. Biotic components. All the living things, plants, insects, small animals, as well as big humans are biotic components of ecosystem. Energy flow. Energy flows in ecosystems by way of food chain and primary source of energy is sun. First of all, the plants or the producers produce food by the process of photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight, that is, using energy from the sun. All the producers prepare food. Then, all this food is consumed by the herbivore animals, that is, plant eaters. And then, these plant eaters are eaten by carnivore animals. And some Omnivorous animals eat plants as well as animals. So the primary source of energy is sun that reaches up to the carnivores and omnivores. And ultimately, decomposers decompose the dead remains of herbivores, omnivores, carnivores, and producers to again form the soil. From where the energy is again used, the plants to prepare food in the presence of sunlight. Let's try the energy flow with an example. Plants use carbon dioxide from air, water and minerals from the soil, and sunlight to make food. Insects eat plants and the mice eat insects. Snakes and cats eat mice. Snakes are eaten by eagles, and when all of these living things die, they are broken down into nutrients by fungi and get dissolved in soil. And these nutrients are again used by plants to prepare food in the presence of sunlight. So, this is the way energy flows in an ecosystem. Decomposers reduce all the dead remains into nutrients and carbon dioxide. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects that is again used by the plants to produce food and release oxygen to the air. 
which is again used by all living things. And the cycle continues as all the living things provide carbon dioxide to the plants and are again reduced to carbon and nutrients by decomposers. Now, let's learn some more terms of ecosystem. Environment. All the abiotic factors constitute the environment of ecosystem. Population. Number of particular types of organisms in a given area is called population. Habitat. An area where a population lives is called its habitat. Community. Populations of all the living things living in the same habitat and their interdependence is called community. Ecosystem. Community and its living environment functioning as an independent unit is called ecosystem. So let's try to understand the levels of organization of life. First level is a living organism, then is a population of that organism, then community of many populations living in an area, and then is the community along with its environment forms the ecosystem, and then many ecosystems forms a biome. We will learn about biome in our next assignment. So kids, today we tried to learn the levels of ecological organization. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.